Lindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today we're going to do a fab or fail. I'm going to be doing fab or fail on this product called the Spoolies. They're supposed to be heatless hair curlers that give you great, awesome curls, super easy. So this is not a sponsored video. I have not been paid by the company to do this. I literally just saw this on an infomercial somewhere and decided I wanted to try it. Before we go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can click the button right there and right next to the subscribe button is a little bell. That, if you click, will notify you when I put up my videos, so you definitely want to do that. So be sure to click the little bell, and let's get to it. So when you buy a bag of spoolies, they come like this, or like this, depending on which ones you buy. This size is a little bit smaller, and these are the larger ones. I'm gonna work mostly with these today on the top of my head because I want looser, softer curl, and then if I run out, I'm gonna switch to the smaller ones. So. This is what the card says. It comes with a little card like this that has some directions on the back. So I have not used these before. This is a first time for me too. So I'm just literally gonna read the card and we're gonna do what it says and see how it turns out. Okay, step one, place small end of curler firmly against head. There is a note on the card that says, for natural ringlets and soft waves, do not dampen hair. For tighter curls or difficult hair to curl, ends can be moistened slightly. So I actually split my head into two pieces. So I have a left side and right side, and I'm going to try both techniques. And on this side, you can see my hair is totally dry right now. I washed it last night and it's air dried. And I'm going to try dry on this side, and then we'll dampen just slightly on this side and see how it goes. So it says step one, place the small end of the curler firmly against the head. Step two says wind the hair strand around the, the spool smoothly. Step three says fold the top of the curler overhead to hold securely. So I'm going to pick up a piece of hair I have moderate to thick hair, so I'm going to pick up like a little bit smaller piece. I'm putting this firmly against my head, and we're going to wrap the hair smoothly around the spoolie. Try not to twist the hair as I'm doing it. And then we're going to fold this down over the top. Whoa. Okay, so obviously I've used a little bit too much hair, so I'm going to try it again with a little bit smaller piece of hair and place it again in my head, roll it around smoothly, trying not to keep it twisted. And when we get it all twisted, then I'm just gonna flip it and fold it over, and this time we're good, it's gonna stay. So I have now used the correct amount of hair. So I'm gonna keep doing this with blues until I run out of them across the top. Okay, so again, putting it against my head, wrapping it, whoop, smoothly against the curler itself. This is a little tricky, like just because you kind of have to, you know, maneuver your hands around the spoolie as you're wrapping the hair, but it, it's doable. It's just a little bit tricky, arm holds. And then fold it down. One of my biggest concerns on my hair, obviously, is the thickness. Ah, I used too much hair again. Let's try it again. Take some more hair out. Aha, perfection. Okay, so I need to be careful not to take too much hair, which means I'm gonna need extra curlers and I'm going to have more of them in my hair at the end. And we're good and we'll just keep going like that. So you can see I have now used all of the blues that I have. I will note that the more I put in, the harder it was to get them to lay like right next, right on my head. Like you can see some of them have just a little give in them um, because it's hard to position them all when you have that many. I'm out of blues, so for my under hair, I'm gonna switch to the smaller size, the pink. But on the paper, it also says, for a soft casual curl, wind hair around spool from mid strand to desired height. So on the end ones, instead of putting them clear up to my head, I'm just going to put them up about halfway on the strand to keep the curl a little bit softer. So we're gonna try that. And also, I'm finding, honestly, that it's much faster to just wrap the hair like this than it is to place this fully like right onto my head, just because it goes a lot faster. So on these ones, I'm gonna just kind of do mid-strand hair pieces. And these are smaller, so I even have to take smaller pieces of hair. And you can see I'm just wrapping 
and when I hit the ends, then I'm just flipping and I'm not going all the way clear up to my head. And we're gonna finish these off. Okay, I have them all put in now. I had three left, so good guessing on the head count. And I'm gonna switch now to the left side where I am going to actually dampen my hair just the tiniest, tiniest bit, particularly on the ends, and then repeat the process. So this should make for a little more curl than this side, in theory. So here's our my water, like ever so slightly, because I don't want it to take forever to curl it either. Dampen, okay. And we're ready to go with the next blue ones. So again, I'm gonna try to follow their instructions and take a piece of hair, put it against my head, and then wrap. Oh, this is backwards for me on this side. Oh, see, it's so much easier like this. I don't know why they told you to hold it against your head. That's just weird and awkward. And then flip it and set it. These are made out of like a slightly, kind of almost like a silicone filling material, which is kind of an interesting, like I don't know how I feel about it because it feels like my hair might stick to it a little bit when we try to take them out. So I'm kind of interested to see if it like grips onto my hair. You know those elastics that when you take out, they like pull on your hair and it hurts? It's kind of what these feel like. So we'll see if it does that or if they just roll right out like they're supposed to. You know what else they remind me of? Okay, this is kind of old school and some of you may not have any idea what I'm talking about, but do you remember those poppers that you had when you were a kid? The ones that you would like put inside out and then they would like shoot off the ground and pop up. Some people put them on their skin and they'd give them like little suction cup marks. Kind of like the precursor to cupping these days for athletes. That's what this reminds me of. Okay, I'm gonna just keep going until I run out of blues and then we'll come back for the pink. Okay, so I'm all done with blue on this side and I'm gonna move to pink. Again, I'm just gonna use a little bit of water to wet those ends like it's telling me to and I'm only gonna take it up halfway. So again, I'm just gonna roll. I'm actually gonna roll the other way, I think, on this one. Roll, roll, roll. And then flip. Halfway up. And keep doing that. It also says, just should be noted, that they come in playful pink, this color, blue, shadow black, and apparently high glow, which means they glow in the dark. So little kids maybe might like the glow in the dark if they uh, wear them to bed at night or something. That'd be kind of fun. But I obviously got pink for the small ones and blue for the larger ones. Okay, so I have officially completed all of the rollers. Sean had me stop so he could take a thumbnail picture for this video, and I suction cupped these little things on my face like this for the thumbnail. And now check it out. Remember those little uh, dots I was telling you about, the little suction cup dots? That's what they look like. I now have them on my face. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave them and keep filming. But yes, the directions now, after you're done, say, um, to allow the hair to air dry naturally or apply heat if desired. It doesn't really say how long to leave them in. Um, it does down lower say that they call them sleep in curlers. So I suppose you could sleep in them if you wanted to, but I feel like if you laid on them too hard that they would like pop, keep popping and you would wake up and they would not be all in. So I'm just gonna let them air dry for a bit, especially since this side was totally dry anyway, and then we're gonna take them out. Okay guys, so it's been a couple hours since I've had them in my hair. I've just been letting them air dry, haven't applied any heat. We're going to take them out and see how it goes. So I'm gonna start with this side that we did not add, or we did not add water to and see how it goes. Now it is sticking to my hair a tiny bit as I take them out, but not as much as I thought they might to be honest. 
These are, the pink ones are supposed to be smaller and tighter curl than the blue, but I only put them up halfway so the curl won't go all the way to the root. Okay, so I have all of them out on my right side. You can see literally the curls just as they've come out. And you can definitely see that the top ones are softer than the bottom ones, the curl in the bottom. So the, definitely the blue ones are a looser weight. Now we're gonna take out the side on the left and now you remember this is the side we added a little water to. So we're gonna see if these pull out a little tighter. And here is the left side. So, you can see the curls straight out of the rollers, the spoolies, versus the right side. So there is quite a bit of difference. I'm actually a little surprised. I knew it would curl better with the water in my hair, but I wasn't sure it would be this extreme, but it definitely is a big difference in the wave. Um, the paper calls them the perfect California beach waves. So I suppose if you were going for beach wave look, I would prefer this side as opposed to this side, but this side might be better for like dance recital or more like elegant event where this one's a little more beachy. Okay, now when I would curl my hair with a tool, like a wand or something, I always shake my hair afterwards to kind of shake the curls out and mix it up a little. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now too. And let's see what that did. Okay guys, here's my summary of the spoolie. I'm actually gonna give this product a fab and a fail, so it's a little bit of a mix for me. Here are the pros. The pros are it gives you a heatless option, so if your hair is damaged or you just don't wanna put heat on like a little kid's hair, this is a great solution. But if you add water, it does curl your hair. The negatives for me are the cost. Each of these sets of spoolies is about $30, so to me they're a little bit expensive. They did pull my hair out, I also felt like they were hard to get to stay in, like if especially if I used too much hair, they were popping open. And lastly, I felt like it was hard using these to get a consistent curl pattern. So like on this side, I have a few that have like little weird edges or little weird curls, and that's not really the vibe I prefer in my hair when I'm wearing curls, where with a wand or something like that, I get a very consistent curl pattern. So for me, it's not my very, very favorite. Like I said before, I'm gonna give it a fab just because they did work. They did curl my hair and it's heatless, which is a fab, but a fail for the price and for the inconsistent curl and just for the popping out. So there you go. Okay, let's do the final spin. Do, 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 do. Don't get to, uh, you know, spin myself very often, so that's kind of crazy. Now, if you guys love these fab or fail videos, be sure to leave a comment below on what else you would like to see me try. Be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking this button right here, and you can find our other videos by clicking right there. I think these fab or fail videos are super fun, and hopefully we'll see you guys back next week for our family vlog. Bye guys!